10 Investments That Are Mint The COVID-19 pandemic has led to the fall of the world's economy. Negative domestic gross products, rising levels of unemployment, failing retail sales, and the country's overall economic output declines. The markets are experiencing turmoil due to inflation, which is driving up prices for everything from hotels to groceries and gas. This recession has been repeating over for years that it may have been considered unavoidable in the business cycle. However, experiencing the economic struggles and rising prices may cause anxiety and put you in a hard spot. Thus, you might find ways to cope up with the recession that's going to happen. Worry not because we will be sharing to you top 10 investments that you should consider to help you hunker down during rough times. Welcome back to Independent Luxury, where we give you a peek of the luxurious life you wish to live. Today, we're going to discuss 10 investments that will help you thrive during the recession. Starting at number 1. Commodities The sound of raw materials like metals or grains may not sound such an appealing investment for you. However, they are proven to be strong and stable investments. Corns, textiles, and soybeans have helped investors during rough times. If you want an easy and less risky investment on commodities, you may invest in mutual funds that invest in business commodities such as mining, energy, and agricultural companies. Just be cautious because not all commodities are not affected during a recession. Number 2. Self-Cultivation and Education Learning and dedicating your time and skills and knowledge opens more opportunities for you. Use this time to pick up a new skill or join a career-focused group rather than worrying about where stocks, bonds, or gold are trading. Strengthening your existing talents and capabilities can make you in demand in a certain field. You might become more appealing to employers looking for top talent to help them out of the recession by expanding your skill set. No recession can ever ruin your education or anything you have learned in life. Number 3. Grocery Stores For the longest time, stores like Walmart have done well even in the height of economic decline. Since grocery stores usually sell products that people need for basic survival. Thus, even if recession comes, people will still come to buy in grocery stores. Plus, customers tend to buy more groceries and eat at home when they cut back on their restaurant spending. People still need to eat. Even in the deepest recessions, and grocery shops offer this essential service at a lower cost than restaurants. Number 4. Pharmaceutical Stocks Healthcare goods, which include pharmaceutical companies, are usually seen as defensive, along with other sectors like utilities. This is due to the fact that people still require medical care and drugs, especially during economic hardships. The pandemic is one of the reasons why pharmaceutical stocks are thriving today. The COVID-19 has a lot of people looking for supportive treatment to relieve the symptoms of the said illness. You can invest in vaccines or choose to invest in retails. Number 5. Consumer Necessities Grocery stores sell all sorts of products, so people get to buy the things they need even during economic decline. However, focusing on consumer necessities alone may seem like a good idea of an investment. Aside from the fact that you'll surely sell about 95% of the stocks, you're less likely to be troubled over expired products since people would be buying their needs over their wants, especially during a recession where spending money must be done wisely. So, go on and look for companies selling these kind of things and buy some stocks. Number 6. Technology Stocks Even though technology is not a practical choice in every recession, instances like COVID-19 might be different. The pandemic has put people in their homes to avoid physical contact. Thus, people around the world are mostly just in their homes using their phones and binge-watching Netflix. Also, since social distancing is required, people mostly opt for video calls to meet their loved ones and buy things online instead. Work from home is also common now. People will be needing to buy equipment to do their task. Considering all of these amazing digital stuff that keep people busy during this pandemic, tech stocks may hold quite well during this recession. Number 7. Telecommunications In this digital age, it is almost impossible to live without internet as a mess. These are used in work and even schools. 
Even during a recession, people remain dependent on telecommunications. Especially during the pandemic, most companies had shifted to work from home and schools were conducted online. So more people had to use the internet more than ever. Number 8. Hedge Funds Hedge funds often engage in high-risk, high-reward opportunities with the goal of making money in any market. You typically need to be an authorized investor with at least $1 million in net worth and investment experience in order to invest directly in a hedge fund. Today, however, a number of mutual funds and other investments give regular investors access to hedge funds. Hedge funds achieve this by utilizing sophisticated investment strategies and securities, such as short selling, hedging, arbitrage, and futures. Number 9. Life Insurances If there's only one thing we know about life, it's that it may be unpredictable. Therefore, one of the greatest ways to secure your family in both good and terrible times is with an affordable term life insurance policy. Because of this, life insurance is just as crucial during a recession as it is during an expansion of the economy. In reality, having a life insurance policy is made to assist your loved ones with things like paying for your funeral, clearing off debts, and making plans for the future, all of which may be more difficult to afford during a recession. A decent life insurance policy can also assist your loved ones in paying off your existing obligations in the event that something were to happen to you, whether you are already in debt or are concerned about getting into in debt in the future. Life insurance policy in place during difficult circumstances is valuable. Insurance serves as your safety net. Number 10. Automation Believe it or not, automation is a really great investment during the hard times because businesses are trying their best to be cost efficient. A lot of companies will choose to go automated because first, companies deem it as more productive. Time spent on efficient manual operations is eliminated via automation. As a result, workers will be more productive as they devote more time to activities that directly benefit the company's bottom line. Automation makes better use of human hours and brain power, whether it automates whole processes or just a portion of them. Second, it reduces risk. During a recession, risk reduction is crucial. Procedures can be accelerated, human error can be decreased, and processes can run without variation since robots don't get ill or tired and because they perform job based on rules with more precision. Risk is decreased as a result of a number of parameters. Third, automation can provide better customer experiences. Technology may also make a significant difference in customer service, which many firms are already having trouble with as a result of their requirement too. For example, change memberships, provide refunds and coupons, or move all their sales online. Client care may answer to user inquiries more quickly, more precisely, and personally by doing away with repetitive processes and using data to give support personal immediate insight into customer profiles. An efficient support model might be crucial in a market where many organizations have seen a significant increase in support tickets and customer inquiries. That's all for today's video. Which of these do you think would be the best investment for you? Do you plan to invest in more of these recession-proof investments in the future? Let us know in the comments! Don't forget to click the subscribe button and make sure to tune in for more videos like this. Again, this is Independent Luxury, where we give you a peek of the luxurious life you wish to live. See you next time!